Hello everyone. We're going to get started this morning on putting together the lithium battery, taking out the lead acid batteries. They were used the last time yesterday and boy am I happy to get rid of them. So this is a 2009 Yamaha G29 golf cart. Um, it's a good golf cart. It has an AC motor in it. Here are the lead acid batteries I'm going to get rid of this morning and uh, I'm preparing to remove and install the lithium rhino battery. As you can see, the lithium rhino battery is right there on the floor. Very well packed. Everything that's in the kit is good quality equipment. Um, you can see the wires there. You can see the uh, display. This is the 12 volt converter, gloves, and battery remover so all this stuff is well packed as you can see it is uh, quality material and over here on the floor is a template that i created so i know exactly where i want to put my battery this morning so i don't have to do things twice as you can see i'm going to go with a factory bracket factory bracket is two inches high as you can see, I have it sitting down in my tray, which equals the height of this right here, which will fit between here and here in the front, the battery well. All right, just wanted to explain what, I, what I've been doing here. I've got the battery in. You can see my wires are in here. My, bat, or my charger in here, and then I'll connect it up here. Probably the single most important thing that I did is you can see charge, charge, plus and minus. You need to mark everything before you start because a wire I didn't think I was going to use, I had to have. It was the, if you look over here, this is my actual um, meter. I don't need that anymore because I have a meter now over here. So I wasn't gonna use those two wires and so I eliminate them. Well, when I put the battery in, the golf cart would move, but my electrical would not work at all. So with these two wires, I just kept eliminating them. I didn't do it. Finally, I said to myself, self, you made a big mistake. You need to plug everything back in the way it was when you had the uh, lead acid batteries in there and then eliminate things. And that's what I did. So I put all the wires back to where they were original onto this same unit that would have been on the lead acid and once i did that everything worked welcome back to my lithium rhino installation i've completed the installation i've ran the cart today cart runs fine i have ample speed i have ample torque uh, this cart moves well i'm very very happy it's 400 pounds lighter than it was before this here is probably one of the very, very important things. It's a template. This represents my lithium battery. I have the holes where everything are located. Oh, while showing that, I can come over here and show you that I place this right in here. I move this around, put my brackets in the way I wanted to, and then I installed my battery. If you look closely, you can see my battery. You can see my charger and the LCD readout. That indicates Right now it says 99 and standby and it says I have 53.7 in the charge itself. And then located here, because I have so much room taking those lead acid batteries out, I have a storage space and I have my ammo can. I'm very happy with Lithium Rhino and I've got an outstanding cart now. I have all, all the power that I need and I can do a uh, much greater distance than before. So it has been a great addition and I'm gonna love every minute of having this car. Thank you for watching, enjoy it. Remember, if you, if you want a discount, put speed of light and then get a discount. Trust me on that.